Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbin. And this week we're taking a little bit of a break from some of our how-to videos that we've been focusing on the past couple of weeks. Yeah, we were looking to try out another hike, so to see how I do on hikes these days. Right, because if you've checked out our channel trailer, you know one of our goals is to actually try and like hiking. So we've done some preparations uh, over the winter, and even just in the last uh, day or so to make this hike kind of interesting. Right, we have a little picnic basket on my back. I think it weighs about 10 tons. Well, <laughs> got to, love subbing, we don't travel light when it comes to food. We need a lot of good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and hike this Lybrook Falls in this episode and come along with us. It'll be a little bit different. We're looking forward to it. Should be fun. For provisions, we started with our local beverage store. We chose a canned rosé wine for our hike this time. Our next stop was our meat market for smoked meats and cheeses. We selected a house-made pepperoni and some caved aged cheeses. Finally, as a special treat, I made some small sourdough bread loaves using my own starter. Today's hike will be 4.7 mile round trip and it's rated as a moderate hike. It gains 938 feet in elevation and it travels along old logging railroad paths. All right, now you can tell that this is serious hiking because we have to register here in this box for anyone entering further into the wilderness of Vermont here. And you can see that I've got my bright orange shirt on which I hope will make any rescue or recovery attempts a lot easier. But in the meantime, we're gonna go register because we're pretty serious hikers. Cindy thinks I'm only doing this in case she falls in. This is the technical part of the hike. Her center of gravity is off. We spotted our first wildlife. Check that little guy out, just kind of hanging out. Cindy's not really a big fan. Yeah. But that's our first little official wildlife. What do you think of Snakey? Yeah, not in the middle of the trail. Well, he was probably more scared of us than him. That's true. But... All right, onward after experiencing that snake she's got some hiking pants which we'll give a full review of once we get a few more miles in and her stick which we bought at big bend national park for some hikes that we did out there that one's on our pinterest board and that one is on her pinterest board like she said how are you doing so far see doing so good so far so good um more, uh, I assume, Hurricane Irene uh, damage here. Uprooted trees, broken, amazing. I'm sure that's part probably even flooded too. Wouldn't surprise me. Yep. Because the creek is just right there. Look at all these rocks. This is insane. I'm really trying to like this thing. Yeah, she's trying hard. I'm trying really hard. All right, we've stopped at a rock for a little bit of rest. How you feeling, see? Feeling the hike. See, one of the things about waterfall hiking is usually you have to hike up to get to them. We're trying to find a waterfall in which you hike down, <laughs> get to the waterfall, and hike down to get back to where you started. Let's see what Sin just found. Pretty. Hanging in there, see? Um, by a thread. It's a pretty tough hike. I would say so, and these rocks do not make it any easier. And of course our diet of ramen noodles and box wine since COVID started probably is not helping our athletic status. That is a true statement. Oh well. What's up Are we with there yet? What's up with this in front? Are we there yet? Check 
and I'm sending it around, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the path less traveled. Let's see how that works out for me. Oh yeah. Jeez. Alright. We'll see if Robert Frost was right. If that road less traveled will make all the difference. Make sure you check out our video where we check out his grave. Pretty cool. Okay, we have a philosophy that if you can't really be hikers, you can at least look like hikers. So, Sin, how are your pants doing? Oh, they're doing pretty good. What I like about them is they have pockets here where I have my phone. I have a pocket in the front here and one right there. I like the reinforced knees. It also has a reinforced bum as well. Yep. So I can sit on something and it won't scuff my pants. So when we get those? We got those in Burlington over the winter. So where are we? We are on Church Street in Burlington. Vermont. This is the start of Cindy trying to like hiking a little bit more. Yes. As you've seen from our other videos, uh, she's got a love-hate relationship with hiking. I so got a little ways to go. We are going to try and see if we can, at least if we don't like hiking, we can look good while we hike. Yeah. I think we have reached right. our destination. We're going to find some hiking clothes at the fall, fall race. Yeah, we don't know how to pronounce that. What's that? But we think Swedish people like to hike, so this is probably a good place. This is a Swedish company. Yes. All right, see, so we got a winner? I think we got a winner. Let's see. All right. Look pretty good. Not bad, right? And of course, when we're up in Burlington, we have to hit Felino's Pizza. And this time, they had these cool igloos set up. They even had electric heaters. How cool is that? So we were attempting to look more like hikers. We went to the fancy Fall Raven, Y'all Raven store. So they're Swedish, which is probably why she's a little warm in them. Yes, a Swedish summer is not like a Vermont summer, but fairly close, I would think. So what, what, what do you see there, C? A sign that's pointing towards the falls. I was beginning to think it was a pipe dream. I think I can hear water too, Beans. So we made it. Whew. That ain't bad looking. That's not bad. How was it? The hike? Yes. Long. And uphill and challenging. But we're here. I think we got a good spot for lunch. Yep. And I think we're going to set up for that. And we'll join you thereafter. All right, see, how's our little picnic doing? Doing good. What do we got? We got a rosé wine from a can. Ooh, look, they, they're hiking way up there. Um, my homemade bread that you saw being made. Local cheese, okay. cave aged from New Hampshire and Vermont. Some pasta salad. Excellent. And we have some pepperoni. Sounds pretty good, and you okay. can't beat the view. Oh, sweet. It looks like maybe some Instagram people who are going to fall off. I love watching Instagram people fall off things. After our scenic picnic lunch, it was time to hike back. I was hoping that the hike back would be much shorter than the hike up because we were going downhill. 
So how'd those Swedish hiking pants work out for you there, see? Um, let's just say we had a wardrobe change. Hmm. I'm glad I brought them. They were a little bit warm. Yeah, we think the translation for the pants is actually, in Swedish, Arctic ski pants. <laughs> instead of uh, hiking pants. Yeah. All right, so change in the luggage situation. Yeah, leave in the comments below if you predicted that this was gonna happen. <laughs> He's wearing both backpacks. Yeah, that's all right. I learned this trick from the Endless Adventure. They're a great channel. They got like a zillion subscribers, but. And we were also lapped. Yeah. By a fairly some, fit some young individual. Girl. Yep. So we're kind of humiliated with this whole hiking thing. Yep. And I can't see down now. This is kind of my view. I can't see anything. Hopefully you won't trip over anything. But as you can tell, Sin is having the time of her life. She's loving this. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm ready to get back to the truck. <laughs> We're almost there. You hear that, See? Yes. That's the beautiful ro sound of road noise. Civilization. Civilization. <laughs> I think we're coming up on our end of our day. So one hour, 51 minutes, 37 seconds. So it's like what, 10 minutes for going, uh, going downhill versus uphill? About 10 minutes. <laughs> you had a little bit more energy at the beginning though. That is true. Okay, so there you have it, Sin. How was the hike? It was uh, good. So if you had a choice between the hike to Lybrook Falls or hanging out at a brewery for the afternoon, which one would you choose? The brewery, definitely. If you had a choice between the hike of Lybrook Falls <laughs> and an evening in Pyongyang with Kim Jong-un, which one would you choose? The hike to Lybrook Falls. All right, so we've got our box now. <laughs> we know where we can operate in. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. Comment below if you've been on a hike recently that's been interesting. And click the subscribe if you haven't already done so. We come out with RV, Airstream related, and the occasional hike video like this every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.